Hi, Harry Potter fans. This is Miss Ashley, librarian at the Crystal Lake Public Library. And I'm excited today to show you how to make your own wand with tissue paper embellishments. And this is one that I've made. So as part of this, you will have registered for the Harry Potter Take and Make Craft Kit on our website. You will have come into the library and picked up a bag like this with all of the supplies needed for the various things we're doing. And for the wand, you'll have the instructions, the chopstick, and tissue paper. At home, you'll need to get some school glue, the white glue like Elmer's, a container to put the glue on so that you can dip your fingers and tissue paper into it, a wet paper towel or something like that to wipe your hands on, and some paint, maybe a brown or a gold or a gray or a combination, depending on how you want your wand to look. So the first thing we're gonna do, we've covered our work surface to protect it from glue and paint here. And I also have a little tray I'm working on. So you will want to get your glue and your tissue paper ready. So I am going to squeeze out some glue and then the first embellishment I want to do is I want to add the thicker end of the wand, the bottom. I want to add um, a little end of my handle like this. So I'm going to take some tissue paper and you can cut it uh, or you can rip it and you can always use more. So I'm going to use a size about this and I'm just going to crumple it up like this. See that? And then I'm going to dip a little bit. And this is going to get messy. <laughs> if you don't want to do this, but you want to use the hot glue gun on the instructions, it says where you can find the video from last year's Harry Potter week that shows you how to make it with hot glue that way. You can use this chopstick. I have a lot of glue on here and my fingers, and I'm going to take the thicker end and I'm just going to stick it on the wand. And then I'm going to smooth it out. And you'll notice as you work with it, sometimes the tissue paper can come off. There's a little bit on my finger. You can always stick it back on or not. It's up to you. Okay, so I have a lot of glue on here. I'm just smoothing it out. and making sure it's attached securely. So we're gonna let this dry a long time. It's okay if it's really wet before we paint it. You wanna make sure it sticks, okay? And the more glue you add, the smoother texture that you're going to get. So you can see this is a bit of rougher texture here, and this is smoother on the end right here. The next thing I wanna do is make this vine-like embellishment on the wand. And so I'm just gonna set this down while I get my tissue paper ready. I'm gonna use a piece about like this. You can use a little bit more if you would like. You can always add more though, so I'm starting small. And I'm just gonna take the glue and I'm gonna sort of squeeze it alongside the inside here. And then I'm just gonna start folding it up on itself a little bit. You can think of it as rolling too if, if folding is a little bit harder. Either way, well, there's gonna be a lot of glue in it and that's okay. As you sort of smooth it through, it'll move around. And this is to help it stick to itself on the inside. We're also gonna add some glue on the outside. Either dip it in or use your fingers. I find I like using my fingers. It helps me control the amount on there a little bit better. And then I can feel the tissue paper. Now it can get a little too wet and begin to rip and that's okay. So you could start with a lesser amount if you want and then add more once it's on the chopstick. Okay, and now I'm going to pick where I want to start the vine embellishment. 
And then I'm just going to wrap it around, leaving some space in between the rows. smoothing that out again I actually have a lot of glue on here this time um, before I usually added needed to add a little bit more I think right here I will just to smooth it down it'll make it a little easier to paint if you have a smoother texture you can still paint it it'll just um, you have to get it in little cracks and crevices which is okay too that adds some character to your wand Okay, so I've done the handle at the end. I've done the vine-like embellishment. Now I can add a little tip here. I can do a little dot. And see, I'm sticking to the tissue paper now. <laughs> I'm gonna just rip a small piece. And it's okay if you wanna cut this ahead of time in smaller pieces, it's up to you how you like to work. So I'm just doing this small piece. I dipped it in glue and then like we did the end, I'm going to attach this tip here. Smoothing it out and adding more glue if I need to. All right. So there is the first half of my wand, and I have really sticky fingers. <laughs> so you're gonna wanna let this dry for anywhere between 12 and 24 hours. I usually did 24 hours because I had the time. And you wanna put it on a surface where it can get air to all the pieces and then not stick to it like this on my surface and let it dry. And then once it dries, you can do the fun part, which is painting. So I have my dried wand now, and I need a paintbrush and some paint. So I am gonna start with this metallic tempera paint. I'm gonna put some in here. And I'm gonna do, you know, one or two coats. And then I'm just gonna paint the tissue paper, the chopstick, and get all of it covered. Okay, so I've painted down as far as I can go and hold it. So I'm gonna let this dry for several hours and then I will finish the bottom and then give it all another coat. And then this is the wand I had earlier. Uh, it's uh, completely painted and dried. I could leave it just as it is one color or I could try to go in and add some different colors in different spots, maybe uh, along the vines or tip or something special like that. I hope you've enjoyed making the tissue paper wand embellishments with me today and I hope that you participate in some of the other fun Harry Potter activities we have either in the library or online and we are so thrilled you spent the time with us and we'll see you soon.